Hey, good morning everyone. Earthmaster here. It is September 6, 2017, 7.18 p.m. here on the West Coast. And the sun, if you haven't heard, uh, created a pretty massive X flare a couple hours ago into the uh, early morning hours. It actually produced uh, two X flares. I'm going to show you guys over here real quick on this map here that I can pull up and show you guys a little bit better. This map right here gives a little bit better detailed description, if I can get it to load here, of the X flares that came across here. I'll give that a second to load. So anyway, there was actually two X flares, one registering a two, what is it, X 2.2 I believe, down here, major X 2.2 solar flare. And then uh, just a little short time later, the same sunspot produced a massive X 9.3 solar flare. And they're stating a bright coronal mass ejection is now visible and will likely be directed our way. Very interesting to see what exactly the outcome of this event is going to be on the uh, power grids and whatnot. I know it's not the, the most intense solar flare that we've seen but uh, definitely it's one of the strongest we've seen in some time um, so yeah 10 almost a 10 almost an x10 right there so they're pretty crazy it, it did have a 25 percent chance of an x flare and they it definitely exceeded that with uh you know, like I said, two of them right there. You can see the first one reaching up here to X2. And then the uh, second one followed up here by an X9, 9.3, I believe. Rather interesting activity. It's possible we could see some more. And if we do, it's definitely going to be Earth directed. This here gives a little bit better detail on it as well. Just right up there at about X10. And of course it can go a little bit higher, but uh, that would be scary if we did see anything that high. So far as space weather goes, X9, they haven't updated anything on their page yet. Uh, still some old information on here, uh, but they do have the um, automated system here showing when the X9 hit at 12.02 UT time on September 6th which is today so we will continue to watch this and monitor it and see exactly how big this uh, coronal mass ejection is and it, if it's going to have any type of effects on the region or not other than that, continued earthquake activity in Idaho and now a renewed active earthquake activity up in the state of Montana. Very close to the region where they've had that activity in the past, um, up there around Lincoln, Montana. And that's been fairly quiet up there for the past couple weeks, but uh, they did have that 5.7, I believe it was, a month, or, a month ago or so. So a little bit of activity picking up in that region and of course the earthquake swarm continues through the night and into the morning here in Idaho near Soda Springs 149 earthquakes of 2.5 and above now these do not include the smaller ones but that's quite a bit of activity that's a lot of activity from a 5.3 earthquake Apparently that 5.3 is the one that kicked all this uh, crazy earthquake activity off and it just continues and it doesn't show any sign of letting up at the moment. Take a look at the yellow Yellowstone thumbnails. You can see exactly what I'm talking about. It's showing up rather nicely across the whole Yellowstone National Park area. Of course there's quite a few fours in there and many many threes. And they're all showing up really nicely and intensely on these seismographs. 
I don't see any sign of them letting up at the moment. Checking the earthquake swarm area. This is what I noticed last night. There's still a little bit of activity. You can see all these little spikes and whatnot. These little blue ones indicative of localized earthquake activity, meaning the earthquake swarm in Yellowstone is still continuing. But I noticed down here towards the south that it looks like it might be migrating a little bit because we didn't see this type of activity before and just all of a sudden we're starting to see these little spikes and and whatnot further south in the park so that leads me to believe it's possible that this earthquake swarm uh, is migrating in a certain region as well down towards the south I'll continue to watch that as well that's the only two locations I see that happening at Other than the activity along the uh, western half of the United States, it remains fairly quiet elsewhere. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity report to report. Uh, I know we got that big major hurricane headed up towards the state of Florida. That's something we're definitely watching as well. I'll probably do an up update on it just a little bit later. Um, this here is the guidance model from a site called tropicaltidbits.com and it's rather interesting to watch and see exactly where this hurricane goes up along the coast here. They predicted it to go up to the east a little bit. We'll take a look here and see what the newest model states. It kind of stalls out just a little bit up here at the tip and then uh, it makes its way up here along the coast a little bit on the eastern side of Florida. That was the second hurricane there. Here's the first one, Irma. But there's definitely still some uncertainty in this, uh, in the direction of the hurricane. Um, it's very possible it could continue to the west a little bit and then go up towards the north, uh, which we will definitely probably wouldn't want because then we see more of the intense wind in the state there and that's definitely something they don't need but anyway guys we will keep you updated on the solar flare that occurred a couple hours ago an x 2.2 and also an x 9.3 pretty crazy stuff hopefully that sunspot is done sparking uh, flares out there because it's kind of serious once you get up there in the X class range but for now uh, we're gonna send off this video upload this thing and uh, get the information out I'm sure quite a bit of you guys have heard the uh, heard the activity about the solar flare if not then uh, now you do uh, if you have any comments or questions regarding anything I stated here in the video, you can leave it uh, in the comment section below. We are live streaming and um, we will continue the live stream through the day. Alright guys, have a great day out there. Take care.